Hey guys, welcome back. Since last episode, I haven't done anything. So, let's go on with the episode, shall we? As you can see, I had an arrow stuck in my head. We had a bit of an invited guest. So, let's get on with this. Like I was saying in the previous episode, with this copper gravel, you have broken and then when you mine it which I'm just going to vein mine for quickness so therefore you don't see me sitting here for about five not even five minutes really just mining it we get crushed copper which we craft into copper sand same again we grab the copper sand and we place it. And after we've placed all the copper sand, we make it into copper dust or powdered copper. As it is, which then copper dust. Which, from how many copper ore I mined, I think it was about 10. I now managed to get 23. The only thing I did do off camera is I chucked 8 logs into smelt. Right, before we go any further, I need a few doors and a few torches. So, let's quickly craft them up. Now, I will admit, this is 1.7.10. So you don't get the free doors like you would in the updates for now available. So like 1.14, 1.13, 1.12, I think 1.10 as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe 1.9. You could craft and you'll get free doors. I may be wrong, probably am. Um, so. F7, I have a light level indicator. Is it shift F7? Oh, nope. I'm thinking of a different one then. So, this is quite easy. Place enough torch there. And it's, yeah. Come over this side. Ooh, bed's in the way. I can mine that. That don't bother me. I can then place that over here. And we want to place it in front of that torch. There we go. Just set my spawn. I haven't died yet. Hopefully I keep it that way. So yeah, over on this side, we do the same. Place a torch there. And mine this side. Sorry about that interruption, that was my phone going off. So yeah. All I'm doing is I'm lighting up the base. Oh, okay, I don't have to place that just yet. I, you probably notice I am a bit OCD. And it's just, it's always the way I am. That's the way I've always been. I've always been a bit OCD when it comes to building. People like my close friends that I've worked with, I've built with in the past, they know this. So quickly pop back into the chest. Oh, I already had the charcoal, etc. on me. I'm a nutter. I should remember this. So, eventually, I will be making a proper base. This is all temp while I am getting resources to make it. 
So, instead of doing some of the tedious work, I've now figured out a few things. So, I, I am going to quickly jump into the future to when I've cleared this place up a bit more. And yeah, we'll go from there. I'll be back in a bit. And see ya. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a bit of a little wait since, well, a little while for me. Seconds, or milliseconds for you. As you can probably see, there's been a bit of a change around. We got a skylight. And they cross a glass block in the floor. Biggest change is it's now a bit more open. So, as you can see, hunger is a bit low. While I was doing some of the videos, I noticed something. Farm's going quite well. Which is quite a bonus. So yeah. I noticed something while I was making some of the videos. Where did I put my spare crafting table? Right under my nose. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I said. There's a little site behind the desert temple which I only recently noticed. A village. Like, how did I miss that? So, let's head on over and have a look, see what they have for us. Well, this is going to be a long walk. I know I could take you on a journey, but I will meet you when I'm over there. See you guys in a second. Whoop, and we're here. Yep, we're here and all. That was quick. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so straight away we got wheat, we got carrots, and yeah, I'm just going to yoink most of this golden rule as well. Always replant. Even if you think you're never going to come back, always replant. Because just in case of an emergency, you never know when it's going to come in use. Oh, a few more have grown. That's nice. So yeah, this is just going to boost us up by a little amount. So that way I can start regenerating more HP when the time comes. Uh, that's just my luck. So, quickly, I'm going to run back to base. And I will join you when I'm back. So, yeah. Don't need that anymore. Yeah, uh, ooh. That was quick. So, not many of these houses have like lootable items so the only ones that are really needed are the ones I'm going to be harvesting so quickly just gather a tiny bit more wheat so I have some more bread but I will craft that when I get back to base so for now let's just head into the blacksmith and See if there's any tinkers building over here. Oh, no, that's an aquacraft building in the background. But yeah, so come around the corner here. And we have, oh, more iron leggings. Four iron, which will come in great use. We've got a common bag. I ain't got one of these since the 
first or second episode. Have a look. Dark steel. I am going to take all those bones and gunpowder. All very useful. Furnaces. Call me nuts, but I'm actually going to take them. And yeah, I will actually take the chest because it's always useful. Especially when you're gaming. You need more storage. So, the smeltery as well. This will save me with ma uh, making some of the blocks. Where'd that go? Oh yeah, vein miner. So yeah, take the basin and casting table. That will be very useful in the future as well. Saves me having to make them, which is not the like there. All right, for Christ. But if I can gather them, they'll make my job ten times easier. We've got potatoes. I can smelt them as well. And if any of you have noticed, since one of the jump cuts, my pickaxe is upgraded. So now I can actually mine copper with it. But I will always still use a hammer. As it is more resource efficient. So, I won't yoink all of them. But I've got 17 carrots, 4 bread and 20 potatoes. Great use. This building here. Oh. Not good. Come out, guy. Yeah, it looks like your job is needed inside. And game decides to freeze. Oh, we, oh no. Never mind. Oh, my. He works fast. This is Agricraft, which will uh, allow me to craft more stuff in the long run. He ain't gonna need them, so I'm just gonna quickly yoink them. Normally they have crops in, but they all turn to weeds while I've been playing and haven't realised. So, what the... Okay, what a source like then. So yeah, I'm going to gather up what I can from the village. If I find anything interesting, I will hopefully show it in the next episode. Because time is starting to run a bit low. And for those who are wondering what this building is, it's from Buildcraft. Because I have most of the Buildcraft add-ons in the pack. So, this would have generators in which then you could take power at the top and put it into like a storage container. So, I have looted all the buildings that are useful. I'll quickly jump down here. Which, yeah, I'll quickly show you in here because this would be similar to the other one. Oh. Uh, wrong item. Lol. So, quickly my nest. In here, I will gather this up. Anything with reeds, I'll quickly break it so it don't like spread. And yeah, I will see you guys. Hopefully, in the next episode. I hope you guys have a nice time wherever you are and I hope to see you in the next episode. This is out and I will see you later. Maxi.